I started with the Cobra jump pack and it was okay. Then I moved to the Buttery BR300. It got a little better. Next, I moved up to the AutoZone Duralast 800 and it was sweet. But now I'm moving to the King Schumacher Power Station. Let's check it out. Hey, what's up, Bertrand Tech Man? Coming back at you with another video. No matter what situation, the Schumacher Power Station got you covered. This portable power station is a jump starter. It's a power inverter. It's a power station. It's a compressor, all in one. With 1,200 volts of starting power, let's talk about the build quality. This thing is built like a tank. This thing is super, super heavy. Uh, it is very well built. Now you'll notice that it has a, a, a nice handle on the front. You have your power on button. You have your indicator uh, for either voltage or wattage. You can also use this to test the amount of battery left on it. Some of the main features are you have 1200 peak amps of charging power. You have a two amp USB port allowing you to charge various devices. You have two slots for 12 volt adapters that you can charge different devices with. You also have 400 watts of peak power for the uh, 200 watt continuous power, 120 volts at 60 hertz and 3.4 amps. You have a built-in light. And to turn the light on, you just push the button and the light is good to be used at night. The cables are heavy duty cables, both your positive and your negative. The clamps are very uh, secure, tight and firmly made. On the side, you have your deflator. On the back, you have your inflator with a nozzle cable that comes with it. You have your on and off switch for your compressor. You have your storage compartment along with your cable to air up your tires. You also have various adapters that comes with it to put air in balls or inflatables and it all fits quite nicely in the compartment here. on the back you also have your swivel plug you have your power indicator letting you know when it's being charged and then you have your two uh, slots that holds the clamps in place you have your outlet which allows it to prevents it from overheating the vent to charge it up you simply take your swivel plug, take it down, you take your extension cord and you plug it in. You'll notice that the light comes on, letting you know that it is charging. To check how much charge you have, you push this button right here and it'll let you know the percentage. I'm at 95% right now. Get your device and plug it in Then you take the knob and you turn it on. Now you'll notice it is charging the device. Now let's go outside and let's see how this bad boy works. The setup is very easy. You just simply uh, take your positive, you connect it to the positive, you take your negative and you connect it to the negative terminal and then you take your button and you turn it on. Then you go inside and you start the car. So now let's see if this bad boy works. Okay, it worked perfectly. So next thing you want to do is you want to get out and you want to disconnect the battery cable, the battery charger from the post. So it started, you disconnect it. Then you turn it off, and then you put your cable back in the place. You can use this to 
check the voltage on your battery as well. Take the positive, put it to the positive, take the negative, put it to the negative, turn this on. And it will tell you what voltage you have in your battery. Okay, as you can see, the tire is kind of flat. A lot of air is out of it. So we're going to use our jump starter slash air compressor and see if we can put some air in this bad boy. Very simple process. You just take this switch right here, you click it on. You'll notice that now you see a light. And it is, of course, putting out air. <laughs> Okay, as you can see, it certainly aired up the tire. It took a few minutes. It's good to go. Take this bad boy, put him back in here like so. Take this, put it back like so. And boom, shaka laka, there you go. So this is my new go-to jump starter. Uh, I can say that the only con of, about this starter would be the fact that it is super heavy. But other than that, it is good to go. I love the fact that it has the ability to use the 12 volt outlets here uh, on both sides, either AC or with an adapter. I also like the fact that you have an air compressor with it as well. It's heavy duty, it's built to last. Now you can find a link for this in the description below and you can get this on Amazon for about $149. Now if you found value in this full review of this amazing jump starter, help a tech brother out, give me a like, hit that subscribe button, ring the bell to get my next video when it drops, share and comment. Now in the comment section, let me know, do you prefer the bigger, larger jump starters or would you prefer one like the one you see up here? Thanks for watching. I'll see you in my next video.